morning. Do you listen to me well? Good morning, Luis. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Haley. Good morning, Louis. Helen. How are you? I thank you. Excellent. I'm perfect. Okay. Okay, let's continue yesterday's class, okay? So, um, let's go to our page. Okay, let's go to our page 23, okay? Page 23. Page 23, okay? Okay, let's go to our page 23. You see that we are... We are online. We are in YouTube right now. Yes, sir. Page 23. Okay. Um, today, we're going to cover uh, parts of this new topic. Okay. Um, especially in page number 23. We're going to discuss a few words and we're going to work also in our book okay question number one it says look at the pictures and the cut and discuss the following questions okay where do you like going shopping and why okay who I, who can I ask that's go shopping always who of you likes to go shopping um Haley likes to go shopping Okay, Haley, what are your favorite stuff to buy when you go shopping? Clothes and technology. Technology stuff like what? Like cell phones, tablets? Like cell phones and tablets, computers. Mmm. Wow, and which is your favorite brand? Which is your favorite brand? Um, which is like your favorite uh, brand like Samsung, Sony? Oh, okay. Um, Huawei? Okay, it's a good one. I have Huawei, but now I just bought a new phone. The, uh, it's called black view i saw it in one of those videos of luisito comunica like what the the strongest cell phone in the world and i bought it took like a few weeks to get here but i bought that phone and it's really hard believe me i always destroy my cell phones i don't know why okay astrid did you like go shopping You don't like? 
can you share with us why do you like go shopping or what things do you buy usually? Okay, Cesar, what things do you like about going shopping? I don't like going shopping. You don't like going shopping? It's boring, right? Yeah, but what happens if you go by yourself? Like, okay, this is Cesar time, I'm going to buy stuff only for me, not for anyone. I'm not going with my mother, not with my sister. It's Cesar time. It's Cesar time. What about Cesar? Maybe buy something to eat there or... I don't know. Okay. Whoa, you like new phones. Okay. Luis. Luis, what are your favorite things when you go shopping? What are your favorite things to buy when you go shopping? My favorite? Things to buy. You know what is buy? Comprar when you go shopping. My favorite. Okay. Well, great, Luis. Okay, Helen. You? What things are your favorite ones when you go shopping? Roxana? No, Roxana and Helen, you don't like to go shopping. Come on. Magnus, I like your headphones. They look very cool. Thank you. They are cool headphones. Okay. And Johan, the last one. Sure. Yes, Louis, tell me. Um, shopping TV. Shopping TV? You like to shop in TV? Wow. Cool. Johan Racines, can you tell us when you go shopping, like you have your own opportunity to buy anything, what things do you usually buy? We're waiting. Come on. What things do you usually buy? Video games, clothes. Mm, video games. Okay, video games. That's cool. Okay, it says work in pairs and go to page uh, 136 to do the quiz and compare your answers with your partner. Okay. Obviously, we cannot work in groups, okay? So, um, we're going to pass to the next activity. Read the sentences and circle the correct words in italics, okay? Number one, this is really easy. The car is fast or small? Fast. Obviously, fast, okay? All of us, we want fast cars. We don't want slow, slow cars or small cars. The mouse is small or expensive? Small. Small, yeah. Small. Why why a why a small uh, a mouse would be expensive? I don't know. It could no. be the weather is good or fast? Good. good. Okay. The woman is beautiful or, or small? Beautiful. 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 The ring is expensive or fast? Expensive. Expensive. Okay. Perfect. Okay. 
you see all those words all those words are related to um, the sentences so sometimes we have to choose the correct word in order to um, do the things that we are saying okay so if the few in the future you have an adjective that you want to practice more try to use it every day okay okay match the adjectives from exercise a with their opposites okay we have good small expensive fast beautiful in the left side and in the right side we have big slow bad ugly and cheap okay which do you think is the opposite of good good morning good morning, good morning abdel welcome bad. bad okay so put the line and you continue with the rest okay we have why we have to we are in page 23 of them. Page 23. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So, which could be the opposite of small? Big. Big. Expensive. Cheap. Yes. Fast. Slow Hello. and beautiful. Ugly. Ugly. Ugly, yeah. Okay, Helen, are you understanding the class? Do you have any question? No. Okay, Helen, en la página 23, en la sección de arriba, vas a encontrar. Dos grupos, seis, no, cinco palabras, ¿ok? Tienes la de la izquierda y la de la derecha, un pareo. Y tienes que buscar los opuestos de cada palabra que está allí. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, good. ¿Cuál sería lo, el opuesto de good? Good es bueno, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería el opuesto de... de... Bad. 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 ¿Ok? El opuesto de small. Pequeño, el opuesto de expensive, caro, fast, rápido y beautiful, bonito. ¿Ok? Es un pareo. Ok, let's continue. Listen to the recordings and complete the word web with the words in the box. ¿Ok? Mientras Helen, Luis, completan lo que es la parte B de la página 23. You, the rest, have to continue with the we don't have listening part but um how can we do this part okay i'm gonna help you okay imagine a red house imagine a red house from people who is well no we can we don't have to imagine nothing okay put the adjectives where you think that they can relate for example if you think about a house what type of house or how how would be the dimension of the house big or small okay when you think about food what do you think about food is expensive is cheap is fat fast Okay, so correlate or relate the words that are here, relate the words that are here with the rest of the, of the items that they are um, telling you to put.
t-shirt que hacen no entendí muy bien la participación ok jefe remember that if you have a question first you have to say mr kill i have a question okay so you have five items you have red house you have main character you have yellow card you have food or song we don't have audio right now for that okay um so which of, of those adjectives ¿Cuál de esos adjetivos, adjetivos se relaciona mejor con los items que te están dando? Una casa roja, por ejemplo. ¿Qué adjetivo puedes ponerle a la casa roja? Al auto amarillo, a la comida, a un personaje principal, a la, a la canción. ¿Ok? Which adjective? Did you finish Astrid? No? Astrid, you look sad today. Or are you sleepy? You're hungry, but come on. You need to wake up at 5 a.m. to have breakfast. Yes. Jason, good morning. Did you finish? Good morning, yes. I Can you help us with the red house? Which adjective did you put in the red house? Expensive and big. Wow. Okay, Cesar, Jesus, which adjective did you put in yellow car? Okay, that is Bumblebee, right? From Transformers. Okay. Haley, which adjectives did you put in food? Which adjectives? Food, cheap and good. Cheap and good, yeah. And Roxana, which adjective did you put in song? Food. And the other? Remember, there are two adjectives. You could put maybe also bad, good and bad. Okay, and in main character, what did you put in main character, Anya? Okay. What did you put in main character, Johan? Be yep. Good. Yeah. That works. Thanks, John. Okay. It says write it. Read the text about sand dips. Favorite plays and underline the words, phrases, sand dips uses to describe Central Park. Okay. Which phrases do we use to describe? The adjectives, the one that we are practicing, okay? So, let's read this part. Roxana, can you help me to read? I heard the New York is Central Park. Central Park is a big park in the middle of the city. It has got lots of trees and it a great place to relax. There are many nice cafes in Central Park, and the coffee is cheap. I love going there on weekends. Okay, thank you, Roxana. So, we have to underline the words that describe this place. Okay? Underline the words to describe Central Park. Okay. Let's do it. You have one minute to describe 
story to underline the words that describe this place, okay? You have one minute. Abdel, you have any question? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Gia, any question? No? Okay. We are in the sand deep story. We are in the sand deep story. No, Yafir, go back down the story in the part down. My favorite place in New York is Central Park. You have to underline the adjectives, underline the adjectives, okay, that describe this city. Tienen que subrayar los adjetivos que describen esta ciudad. You finish, Magvis? Looking at this topic related to shopping, you're going to have a presentation for Thursday, okay? You're going to have a presentation, okay? Yes, Astrid, you will have a presentation. So, what you're going to present is that you're going to imagine that you have $5,000 to go shopping on five places, okay? Make Maybe you can put an extra one, six places. You'll have $5,000, $5,000 to go shopping, okay? 5,000, with those 5,000, you need to think what would you buy, okay? In a mall, or I don't know, in a commercial area. Okay, so that is for Thursday, but don't worry, tomorrow I'll explain a little bit more about that, okay? So, <coughs> let's continue. My favorite place in New York is Central Park. Okay, which adjective did you found there, Cesar? Maybe in the whole story. Okay. Um, which did you find, Haley? Okay, perfect. Okay, excellent. 
let's go to page number 24 okay we have the dialogue we have um, Murph and we have Essen okay we have a dialogue one dialogue two dialogue three and four okay let's go with Essen and Murph. Okay, I want Magvis and Cesar. Cesar, you will be uh, Essen and Magvis, you will be Murph. Okay, let's do it. Page 24. Hi, Murph. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. What is your favorite place to go shopping? I like shopping at the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. Thank you. Okay. I like doing shopping at the Grand Bazaar. Yes, clothes are cheap and very beautiful. Yes, they are. You can wear clothes. Yes, and you can buy closer with the skirt. Yeah, yeah, we have the dialogue one. They are referring to buy clothes in Istanbul. Okay, you know where is Istanbul? Okay, excellent. Dialogue two, Daniel. Daniel is going to be Johan and Joel is going to be um, Jafer, okay? Johan is your professor? Yes, sir. Paul, say Alex. No, no, wait, wait. You're going to read the dialogue too, okay? The dialogue number two on page 24. Okay? Johan, you start. Johan, you are Daniel. Jafer, you are Joel. Okay? Hey, Joel. Hey, Daniel. Where do you like shopping? I like shopping. Or close this in the department store. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, it's but you can buy lots of great clothes. I like buying fits and shirts for work. Okay, excellent. Correction, Jafer is not suits, okay? It's suits, okay? And that is for everyone here in the classroom. It's not suits, okay? It's suits. Okay? Trajes, suits. Okay? Dialogue 3. We have Steph and Sophie. Steph is going to be Astrid. Jason is going to be Steph Sophie. Okay? Okay. Yes, yes, Marin. Okay, we have Sophie and Steph. Steph, you start. Sophie, do you like shopping at markets? Yes, I do. I love shopping at markets. There are lots of cheap clothes. Yes, they are. You can always find some. I like being summer ready at the market. Me too. Okay. Um, Jason, okay. And you can always, it's not faint, okay? Find. Okay? Find. You can always find something new in the market. Okay, thank you, girls. Um, let's go to dialogue number four. Okay.
Adele, do you want to read? Yes. Okay, Abdel, you're going to be Paul and Roxanne is going to be Alex, okay? Hi, Alex. Hi, Paul. Do you like to think online? Yes, I do. Why do you like shopping online? I like shopping online because I can find anything I want. That's true. And you can always find the right size. Yes, yes, I like buying things online. I like buying your online. Me too. It's very easy. Okay. Thank you, Abdel. Thank you, Roxana. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to put the number of the dialogue in the four pictures that you have here. Picture letter A. Which ones do you think is related to that picture? Which story? The dialogue one, dialogue two, three, or four. Which one do you think is related? Yes, you can open your mic. I am a dialogue two. Okay, you are. Uh, I don't know what's happening today, but I need you to be like this, like always, okay? Um, dialogue number two, okay? Dialogue B, letter B, picture B, sorry, I said dialogue. Picture B, which one do you think is picture B? Number three, number three. Yes, number three. That looks like a market. And le and the picture of the sea? Number two. Number two. And that means that the D is online. Okay? Of course. So, it says, match the words with the pictures. Leather jacket. Trousers. Jumper. Suits and summer dress. Okay. What is the suit? Which one is the suit? The number one. Okay. Put the letter C. Which do you think is a summer dress? Number three. Number three. Yeah, the number three. That's a summer dress. Leather jacket. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Trousers. Number five. Number five. And jumper. Number, Number two. Three. Okay, that's a baby jumper. Okay. Look, we have asking the time. Every day in English, asking and foretelling the time. Read the dialogues and underline the phrases for telling the time. Okay. I want to hear Haley and Hania. Hania and Haley. Hania, you're going to be A and Haley is going to be B. Okay. Page 25. Page 25. You have a dialogue. 
you are letter A and A is letter B. Okay? Okay, next time. Gia, you're going to work with Haley, okay? You are letter A and Gia is letter B. Haley letter A and Gia letter B, okay? What time? What the time? Yes, continue. Okay. What time it is it? What time? What time? What time is it? Okay, girls. Um, tomorrow we're going to cover a little bit more about this, about how asking time. I'm gonna send you the attendance, and you're going to, uh. Click on the link and you're going to sign your attendance, okay? So let me one minute. We are 6th of April of 221. This is 7th grade. Okay, this is the attendance. Okay. Your full name. I put the title. We're going to send shorter link, copy, and in here. You have two minutes to sign this because the class is almost over. Okay, sign it fast. Okay. As soon as you sign, you can leave. Okay. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. 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 Luis, I have one question. Bye. Luis, ah. why every time goodbye. that we finish the class, you say like, goodbye, 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 goodbye. goodbye. Why you do that? Bye. Do that. A teacher, la asistencia. Yes, ya está puesta en el chat. Te preguntaba que por qué siempre que terminas la clase dices, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. No, Goodbye, Haley. Bye. Bye, Bye. Magvis. Bye. Bye, Roxana. Bye, Bye Helen. Bye, Astrid. Bye, Luis. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, Johan. Goodbye, Abdel. Bye.
dos. Muy buenos días por todos, colegas. Por favor, enviar los datos estadísticos al profesor Víctor Dom, que solamente han llegado dos datos estadísticos, dos informes de datos estadísticos. El profesor necesita con urgencia los datos estadísticos. Muchas gracias, bendecido día y que el Señor alumbre a cada uno y a la familia. Good morning, guys. Good morning. No, este es el pinche profesor que quiere que la cámara la ponga en la cabeza. No. Genesis, close your microphone. We all hear that. Open your cameras, please. It's mandatory. Tienen que abrir sus cámaras si no los envío al waiting room. 
morning, teacher. Good morning. Gabriela, new background. That is Howard's. Yes. And I am Dumbledore. Guess what? Good morning, George. Good morning, mister. George is waiting for the Real Madrid game, isn't it? Or not? What do you mister? Are you waiting for the Real Madrid game against Liverpool? No? I can hear you. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep. Can you listen to me well? Yes? Okay. Okay, guys, let's go to page 28. I have to make some slides uh, for, the, for the grammar topic that we were watching yesterday. Because I want it uh, like for a complete session. So let's pass that. Afed, open your camera, please. What page, t-shirt? Page 28. Page 28. Genesis, acomode la camera, por favor. Okay. So, it says, work in pairs, look at the pictures and put them into the correct order. Obviously, we're not going to work in pairs, but that is something that you can do by yourself. Okay, a day in the life of a dairy fi farmer, dairy fi farmer. Do you know what is dairy? You know what is dairy, Gabriela? You, Stephanie, do you know what is dairy? Products that have milk in them. Yep, correct, that is. Okay. Miss Rueda, I want you to read from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m., okay? Page 28. Irvin, open your camera. Ioannis, open your camera. Farmers soon wake up late. Farmers usually wake up very early. Farmers don't start the day with a shower with a great fast. They start the day with a word. A daily farmer milks his goes with a day. How does he find time? He starts early. The first milking is it. Is it at uh, 6 a.m. the farmer take the cows to the milking bank. Okay, um, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, um, Joannis, Mel Gondol and Ivelin, open your cameras. What page, mister? Page 28. You're going to read from 9 a.m. to 2 to 1 p.m. No, sorry, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's almost finishing. Nadeline y Mel Gondola, abran sus micrófonos o los envío al waiting room, please. I have problems with the camera. Okay, Nadeline, you? Ya voy, profe, ya voy, ya voy. All right. So... Yes, Ioannis, you were telling us 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. 9 a.m. After a small breakfast, a shower, and a nice cup of coffee, the farmer doesn't relax. What does he do? There is always work on a farm, on the farm. He fixes fences. 
buys extra food for the cows or makes phone calls. 12 p.m. Lunch. 1 a.m. The farmer works in the house after lunch. It is it is hot outside at this time. 2 p.m. Now the farmer does the second milking. The farmer takes the cows to the milking barn. He milks them and and clean up. Does the farmer get bored? No, he doesn't. This is his job and he usually has help. Sometimes the farmer family help, help him. And sometimes he pays. Employed to help on the farm. 5 p.m. At the end of the day, the farmer goes back to his house. But he still doesn't finish his, his work. At the night, he protects his, his cows from the dangerous animals. He helps the cows when they have babies. He, he has a very training job, but he likes it. Oh, wow, Joannis, you have a good uh, English, but you miss at the, at the last moment. Uh, you said tearing is tiring, okay? It's the only word that I have to correct that I heard, okay? Tiring. Okay. Okay. So, guys, what do you think about having a farm? Um, Pablo Maldonado, open your camera, please. Open the camera. Justin, do you have a farm? You have a farm. Do you have a farm? You know what is a farm in Spanish? Finca. Where do you have animals? Like horse, cows. Do you have a farm? Tienes una farm? Yes, teacher. Okay. It's difficult to have a farm. It's difficult, and and it's boring or not boring. Justin, yeah, I I don't know because I don't have a farm. Stephanie, do you have a farm? No. Who has a farm here? Who has farm? Or who wants a farm in the future? Do you want a farm in the future, Gabriela? What do you consider is good to have a farm? Well, you take a break from all the noise and from basically the struggles of living in a crowded city because it is always noisy and the people are oh, sometimes kind of rude and there is not a place to relax. So having a farm would be like an escape from that and be with more with nature. And that is very relaxing to some people. So that's what I would like to have a farm. Yeah, what about you, Andre? Or you're more a city guy? You're more a city person. Okay? Eres más de ciudad. Yeah. What about you, Amy? Make the um, farm? I don't know. Maybe live in a farm to relax or maybe escape my problems. I, don't know. I think that a farm is a, f a perfect place. Like, just to be by yourself, don't take your cell phone, like, for three days, and just breathe, because, come on, life here in the city, where Changinola is not a big city, but it's a city for us, and sometimes it's really stressful, you know, the work, everything is really stressful. Joannis, now that you have read that, which is your opinion about that? I want to listen to your opinion.
my opinion of the life of the farmer. Yeah, what do you think? Or what do you think about you in the future having a farm? Or do you have a farm? I don't know. I will not in, be on a farm. You will not have be. a farm. Yeah, you would like to visit cities around the world? Yes, kind yes. of. Okay. Good morning. That was my daughter. Okay, um, now you have to complete the information related to the reading, okay? You have part C, part D, part E, okay? I want you to start doing that information, okay? You have a match of the words with the definitions below. You have farmer, milk in barn, and polyan and dangerous, okay? So you have to relate with the definitions that you have there. Okay, farmers. What would you put in farmers, Pablo? Are you knowing with pay in which page are we right now, Pablo? No, we are in page 28, okay? Page 28. Um, George, can you tell us, what would you put in farmer? Uh, people who run a farm. Yes, perfect. Daniel, what you would you put in milking barn? A place to take on milk. Yep. Employees, Stephanie? Yes, what would you put in the definition of employees that you have here in the book in page 28, part C? Uh, right yep. And dangerous. David? Not safe. Okay, excellent. It says, read and choose the correct alternative in italics, okay? The farmer wakes up at... Okay, you have to put that information. At what time does he wake up, Irvin? I, I am. Yes, they woke up at 5 a.m., I think so. Yes, they wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, the farmer eats breakfast at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m.? Gabriela. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Okay, number three. The farmer milks the cow at 6 a.m. and 2 p.m., 7 a.m., and 1 p.m. Okay, which one? Genesis. Genesis Villarreal 1. The farmer makes the cow at 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. or 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay, which do you think that is the correct answer, Andre? I think 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. I think that also. Genesis, you have to read the day in the life of a dairy farmer. Okay, tienes que ver la lectura. Estamos respondiendo preguntas en base a la lectura. Okay. Number four. The farmer does chores at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. Afed. Yes. The farmer does the chores at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m.? Uh, farmer does the show. Teacher, teacher. Yes? Teacher, 9, 9, 9 p.m. 9, 9 a.m. 8. Yes, because I, I think that at 9 p.m. he's sleeping. 
ok oh next question and last the farmer goes back home at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Alexis 6 p.m. Wow calm down okay he took the answer okay work I uh, know following the sentences are false find the mistakes and rewrite them. yes eh, neither. Solo quería decirle que me salí porque eh, mi computadora se apagó y no encontraba el cargador. Don't worry, Nadine. Just uh, focus on page 28 <laughs> and open the camera, okay? Don't worry. Sure. Okay. Um, the following sentences are false. Find the mistakes and rewrite them. Las siguientes oraciones son falsas. Encuentra los errores y escríbelas nuevamente. Ok. The farmer eats breakfast late. That is true or false. And you have to change it. Tienen que cambiarla a verdadero. You are going to have three minutes. Les voy a dar tres minutos. Ok. To do that. Part E. Parte E. Las siguientes oraciones son falsas. Encuentra los errores y escríbelas nuevamente. ¿Ok? Justin, do you have any question? Are you okay? ¿Tienes alguna pregunta? No, Ok. No, teacher. I don't know book. You don't have book, Pablo. Ok. When, Pablo, ¿cuándo lo puedes conseguir? Pablo, ¿y hay alguna manera de que les puedan sacar copias por mientras? El problema es que ya estamos avanzando por la página 28, 21. Entonces, imagínate, yo te voy a dar oportunidad para que llenes el libro, ¿no? Pero es para que no te quedes retrasado con los temas que vienen. Entonces siento que podrías ver cómo hay una opción de sacarle copia, ¿ok? Ok, pues voy a hablar con mi padre. Ok. Emily, open your camera, please. Eh, profesor, teacher. Yes, Stephanie. Eh, ¿Voy a sacar mi cámara un momento para ir por el cargador de la computadora? Yes, you can. Neither in open your camera, please. Disculpe, profe, ya voy, estoy buscando. Estaba en el cargador de la lámpara porque sí. Ok, ok. Ok. okay. Follow, the following sentences are false. Find the mistakes and rewrite them. Ok, number one. The farmer eats breakfast late. Can you tell me 
the correction of number one, Amy. The farmer doesn't eat breakfast late. Okay, at what time does he usually eat breakfast, Amy? He eats breakfast at 8 a.m. Yep, for a big breakfast, it says the reading. Okay, the farmer makes the cows twice a day. Twice a week, sorry. Okay, um, George. Um, it says the farmer makes the cows twice a week. Is false, so is and the true will be a dairy far farmer milks his cows twice a day. Good, George. Great introduction. Number three, the farmer works outside after lunch. David. The farmer doesn't work outside after lunch. Okay, at what times or where he, he eats lunch? Uh, 12 p.m. Okay. The farmer works alone. Joannis. Yes. That is true or false? I think that is true. I think it's not because remember that they are all in false. Okay, Gabriela. Can you tell me the number four? The farmer works alone is false. So he works with employees. What I wrote was the farmer works with employees. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. Mr. Santiago, I haven't hear you. Can you tell me number five? Hello, thank you, teacher. Come on, Aldair. You have to participate more. Tienes que participar más. Okay. Um, number five, Stephanie. No las has hecho, ¿verdad? Or yes. No, I don't understand. Chicos, tienen que concentrarse cuando tienen que hacer una actividad así, porque les explico lo siguiente. Puede ser muy fácil ahorita cuando los tengan en la sesión online, pero cuando yo haga el primer parcial, no va a ser tan sencillo. ¿Ok? I need you to concentrate in class. If you don't concentrate, por eso es que también estoy transmitiendo la clase desde el link, para que los papás vean si están participando o no. ¿Ok? Eh, a fit number five. No lo tengo, teacher. Okay, who has the number five? I need a volunteer. Number five. I need a volunteer. It doesn't matter if you already said an answer. Okay. Need a volunteer. Gabriela, David, Amy, Joannis, Andre, what, whoever wants to participate. Justin, do you have number five? Do you have number five? The former award at night. <clears throat> the farmer does work at night. Okay. Yeah, because... Why, how he works at night, Amy? He works at night to protect his cows. Okay, he protects... From getting, from getting eaten by wolves or other predators. Yep, he takes care of his animals. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Amy. So, do you remember that the, a minute ago... 
that we were speaking about the advantages or of living in the farm, like about how you would relax and all those stuff. Now you have a, uh, a little a square here. It says, put the words below into the correct column. Living on a farm, advantages or disadvantage? Okay, put in the in the side of advantages the words that you consider that are advantages of living in a farm, and the words that are the opposite of living in a farm. Okay. You have one minute. En el cuadro de abajo van a encontrar un, ventajas y desventajas de vivir en una granja, ¿ok? Van a poner allí las palabras que están en la parte superior, que son palabras que en algunas irán en las ventajas y otras en desventajas, ¿ok? Así que tienen un minuto para hacerlo. Teacher, teacher, what, what page? No nos hemos movido de páginas desde que iniciamos, Genesis. Me preocupa eso. Estamos en la página 28. Part A. Sorry? Part A. Part A, yes. Speaking. Are you watching the news, Gabriela? Yeah. I see Gabriela, this is the first time she's watching other thing. Voy a preguntarle ahorita a Justin, a Fet, Sayoli, y Génesis y Emily, las advantages y disadvantages de vivir en una granja, ¿ok? Las ventajas y desventajas, profe. Correcto, ahí están en el cuadro, en la parte superior tienen que decir la respuesta. Profe, ya la estoy haciendo, profe. Ok, les voy a dar un minuto más. Sí, sí, espere, dice, eso no aparece, solo aparece un cuadro, pero solo dice Avengers y ya. Mira, en la parte superior vas a ver algo que dice Fresh Air, ¿verdad? No technology. No, sí, aparece. Mm -mm. En la parte de arriba, donde dice living on a farm. Arriba de eso. Ahí dice fresh air, no technology. Esas palabras que ves allí, las tienes que colocar en el cuadro. O sea que, en teoría, en teoría. Y es así, no me tienes que colocar nada que, que no te den allí. Solamente tienes que mover las palabras que están allí al cuadro. Okay, teacher, okay, okay, Genesis, you're welcome. Afed, open your camera, please.
Guys, I'm gonna put in the chat the attendance, okay? So you can sign your attendance. George, don't sleep. Okay, number one. I want to listen to advantages. Mention one advantage. Sayoli. Friendly animal. Okay. Mention one disadvantage. Justin. Food good dish. Good food? Is that a disadvantage? Do you consider that a disadvantage, Gabriela? No, Justin. No, because the food is not filled with chemicals and it's not processed yet. Yes. And it doesn't have as many calories for the people who care about their weight. So. You're going to be a scientific in the future, right, Gabriela? Do you consider you're going to be a scientific? No? Okay. You talk like a scientific, you know. You talk with base. Consider that in the future. Justin, what is good in Spanish? Bien dicho. And food? Comida. And that is a dis and do you consider now ahora que lo que lo ves desde ese punto lo consideras una desventaja o una ventaja? Una ventaja. Tío. Entonces tienes que pasar good food a ventaja, advantage. Okay, disadvantage, Me. Emily Ávila. Me. Okay, Aldair, wait a moment, please. Calm down. Emily. I can say the disadvantage. I can say. No, André, tú siempre participas. Hoy voy a, hoy, estos pocos minutos voy a preguntarle a los que no participan muy seguro. Ok, Emily. Natural life. Yes, advantage, perfect. Disadvantage, Aldair. Uh, no technology. No technology. Ok, André, you want to participate, mention one. The disadvantages. Yeah, advantage or disadvantage, whatever you uh, want. No technology. Okay, that is the one that Aldair says. Okay, no, Afed. No, no shopping. Okay, no shopping. Alda Afed. Yes, teacher. Mention one advantage. Natural life, fresh air, free and animal is good for. And fresh air. Okay, fresh air, aire fresco también. Sí, por eso fresh air. Ah, ok. Bueno chicos, yo creo que con esto damos por dado, firmen su asistencia y apenas la firman se pueden retirar. Acuérdenle a sus papás que si quieren ver la clase ya está desde YouTube, les envié el link, así que algunos están en live ahorita y si no queda grabado ahí, ok. Mister. Yes, Gabriela, tell me. Yes. Well, the shopping malls, it could be also an advantage because if you think about it, you don't have any shopping malls, so you're not spending money. And when you don't spend money, you can save it and do it for better things. Yeah, I can invest money in my farm and I can do more money. And then gain more money of the farm and then you can have way more money than you had before and spend it all in things that you would not use then. Now you got me confused. Do you want to be a scientific or a businesswoman? You're talking about money. Money is an empire now. So we have to understand that. Yeah, we need money. We all need money. Okay. So sign the list and you can go, kids. Okay. Bye, teacher.